if I said to you, 10 tools down to one, 500% improvement in cycle times, return on investment in less than 12 months, you're going to be interested. Well, Cogsdill invited us to Valve Tech in West Yorkshire. So if you are interested, keep watching. Neil, thanks for having us along. First of all, Valve Tech, what do you actually do? We're a subcontract machine shop specialising in large uh, castings and forgings. When you say large casting, that sort of size in the background? Uh, that's what I'd call a smaller one, and we can go up to 12 tonnes. Okay, now you've invested in, from Cogsdill, the ZX300 about two years ago? That's correct, yes. Okay, so you, you work on this component here. Yeah. What were you doing prior to that? Prior to that, we're having to use a lot of milling tools and a lot of boring tools for the spindle. So for every bar, we had to have one roughing tool and one finishing tool. So if there was 10 bars, you'd need 20 tools. Whereas with the ZX300 facing head, you can, if as long as you can get it within your, your range of the stroke of the head, we can do all those bars with one tool. So straight away I'm thinking massive cycle time reduction. Massive cycle time reduction, no tool changing, much reduced, and the component hits the floor a lot quicker. Okay, now with this, with this um, component, with this, this tool, you're doing boring, drilling, threading? Boring, drilling, threading, taper turning, and if it's on some flanges they have ring grooves, so we'll machine the ring grooves in there as well. Okay, so essentially you've got a horizontal boring machine and you're turning it into a, a lathe? That's, that's correct, yes. So it sounds nice and simple. So if it's saying simple, how do you integrate it with the machine and how easy is it? It's quite simple. There's an adapter plate that bolts onto the uh, spindle nose and then traditionally you would just load that with the crane and then you'd load the head with the crane as well. But because we don't like to take it off the machine, we like to leave it on there, we've had a, a cradle manufactured and we just sit it on there and we have a, like a semi-automatic programme and we just load it without the use of the crane now. And again, you get efficiencies there as well. Okay, so you like it so much you've made your own cradle for, for the uh, tool? We have, yes. Any engineer, you know, come up with an extra solution, that's right. That's right, yeah. Just, we just want to save money and save time. So you mentioned a spindle then, standard spindle? It's a standard spindle, it's got a BT50 taper and it just actuates onto that and locks in. Okay, so I've got this ZX300, I'm thinking no, loads more new tooling and things like that as well? No, no, we, we've got Capto adapters we, and we run a lot of Capto tools on the other machines here, so we just use the machi uh, tooling from the other machines. Okay, so essentially, same tooling, easy to fit, straight onto the spindle with the bonnet? That's correct, yes. And Okay, so you've integrated that onto the machine. What about the programming? Programming, we, we program offline using EdgeCam. So we generate the programs there and we DNC link, so we just feed it straight into the machine. Or we can program on the control as well. But generally, we like to do it offline, again, just to save the operator doing it himself and a bit more spindle up time. Okay, so what about then, you, you told us how easy it is to use and it's doing a great job and, and a lot of operations for you. What about return on investment? I think that's key to it. Yeah, 12 months. We, we, got, the, we got the payback in 12 months on that. Okay, so imp impressive in terms of ease to use, return on investment, programming, things like that. Very easy, yes. Wouldn't be without it. That's a great testimony. And also the fact that you made the cradle as well to, to, to make it easy to use and quicker to use. That's right, a lot quicker, yeah. Thank you very much. No problem, thank you. Neil, you've invested in the ZX range from Cogsdill on your horizontal borer. Now, effectively, you've got turning capability now, but how easy is it to program this machine now? It's really simple. It's just like programming any two-axis lathe. We do all our programming for the machine offline using EdgeCam software, but you can also program it on the machine, but we just find to keep the uptime of the machine going. We do it offline and it's dead simple. So can you give me examples of how this is uh, done, please? I can, yeah. So if you take a look at this here, we've just got a, a pre-turned bar, which is for the thread size that we're going to cut on a, a job on the machine now. So i just going to mark one of my turning cycles, select thread. I've already predetermined um, my cut strategy, so I just need to select the thread that I've done. Edge cams produce that. I just need to generate the code. and there we have a program ready to cut a thread. So how has this improved your productivity and could you do without it now you've got it? Once you've got it, it's indispensable. Um, productivity, you've got one tool and you can do bars, tapers, radii, whereas on a manual machine you'd have to generate um, a radius with a form tool which is prone to chatter, so a, a lot smoother finish. So effectively, has, has, has this made you more profitable and competitive? I think so, yes.